I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with Lincoln's all-new 330 MPX EFI model. Uh, I picked this up from a buddy. He uh, brought it in the back of his truck over here for some service, but uh, we're going to go, and uh, I was going to go over some of the features on this EFI. So Lincoln has the 330 MPX carbureted edition, and then they came out with the EFI. So why EFI? Why is EFI better, I should say? So better starts in colder weather, uh, higher altitude people, so, you know, like Denver, the Mile High City there. Um, carburetors have trouble running at, at that altitude um, and then obviously b increased fuel efficiency too with EFI um, but if you don't know anything about the 330 MPX so this thing is 20% smaller than its competitors 25% lighter than its competitors so you can you can fit it in tighter spots um, in the industry we've seen uh, you know for people that are running around in smaller vehicles so like the uh, Ranger, Ford Ranger for say, they can fit it in there and they can fit all their welding stuff along with this machine and it's light so it's not squatting out your vehicle, not squatting out your truck. Um, they had really good success in the field. Now everybody, their biggest concern was this screen, how's it gonna hold up? We haven't had any trouble with them. And uh, this one's just coming back for an oil change today. But anyways, we're gonna start this thing up. So uh, it's got your your uh, selector knob with, with the push button there to select between the things. We got your two front doors, pretty nice. Uh, positive negative terminals your 240 plug your 110 plugs and your other 240 plug here so remember this machine's got 330 amp 100 percent duty cycle uh, uh, with 100 percent duty cycle um, awesome machine Kohler engine they run great they're quiet they're smooth um, let me shut the doors back up here uh, and I know in my last video there I had I think I believe I took the battery box off showed you where the battery was at but this thing's all hooked up it's got gas in it so we'll flip it on and you, you'll hear a ticking, and that's just the fuel pump kicking on. But it's a EFI, and we fire, that, fire it up there. So on this machine, you got stick, flux core self shielded, big flux core gas shielded, spool gun, tank welding, downhill pipe welding, and we just got carbon arc gouging with this machine. And obviously, we got engine goes over our engine hours, service, that sort of thing. And then we got our setup, our, you know, where we can change language, all that stuff. Go into, uh, it's pretty easy to select, so we're gonna go into stick welding here. Just push the center button, bring the rate up. We got 140 amps, it's giving us our fuel. So we're almost out of fuel, because it's blinking red, but that's no big deal. We're just, we're just gonna drop back, and then go back, and hit the back arrow there, and we can go into another setting, so right there. And Plug score because it's 10 volts. If you want to go back again, we go back again. So pretty smooth how that all works. The screen's pretty nice. My favorite thing about this unit, just in general, it's pretty easy to service. So when we pop open doors and that, we got gas tanks down below underneath. It's actually pretty easy and easily accessible when you get in there. Um, it's got all this nice padding to quiet the noise down. So it's actually the quietest engine drive on the market in this group so uh, comparing to the competition I think this thing's like 74 decibels and the rest of them are between 76 and 80 decibels so this thing's actually really quiet we got our top with our air cleaner oil dipstick all that stuff's up top actually really nice got a nice lifting lug um, people in the field I know I've had customers they they love that because they can pick it up with a crane or they can pick it up in the air at night so no one takes it no one steals it that sort of thing gas cap in the back runs on regular unleaded I'd recommend ethanol free gas just because it helps with everything um, run but then you got your oil filter and everything so it's all really nice and tight compact that's why we got I think it's 36 inches long 20 inches wide and um, I think 28 inches tall or something like that but I mean it's a really compact machine um, all in all great if you got any questions comments or anything leave, please leave them below we'll do our best to answer them and uh, thanks again for watching subscribe to our channel Stay tuned for more.